One day, you get a copyright claim on a video you uploaded seven months ago. You don't even remember what that song was. It had a generic name like Lo-Fi Corporate. You don't remember if you had a subscription back then on Envato Elements or if it was during the time when you downloaded everything for free from Pixabay. This is a story that every content creator who uses stock website can relate to. Let's face it, everyone who creates content needs this website, whether it's for music, shortcuts for editing, or just to fill a gap with some cartoon animation. When you create videos or content in general, you're probably good at a few things like creating video scripts and capturing a footage, but let's say you want to add some drama with music. If you're not a musician or composer, you're likely going to search for music on some website. And if you want to earn money from your video, you probably do care if this music has license or not, so you don't receive copyright claims and lose all your ad revenue. In this video, I'm going to share my approach to this licenses game and what I do to stay organized while downloading everything and creating content. I use Envato Element as an example, but this applies to any stock website that uses license for music, video designs, and templates. When you subscribe to Envato Elements, you get the option to download as much as you want, but you can only use each asset for one end product. So if you want to use the same music for two different videos, you need to get two licenses. Here's how it works. When you download an item from Envato Element, you choose a project and then you save the item in the project. You can create as many projects as you want. Then you get the license in the text format, which you can also download, even after your subscription, and you can still access the licenses as long as the content you created was ready during the subscription period. I won't get into all the licensing details. If you want more, you can check the long explanation about licensing and maybe I'll make a video to share my understanding of it. So how can you find the license after you download hundreds of assets, even a week later? You need to stay organized and here's what I do. First, when I download everything, I already know what the topic of the content is. Even if I'm not sure how I'll title it precisely on YouTube, I still know what it is about. For this example, I'm using Premiere Pro as my editing software and it's a video that will end up on my YouTube channel. Here's what I do. I create a folder on my computer for the category of the video. For this video, it's how to get organized in Envato Elements assets. This folder is under Envato Elements videos in the category of assets website for content creator. That way I can find this folder very fast in the future. In this folder, I'll create the Premiere project and another folder called Envato Music, Envato Video and folder for my screenshots. Then in Premiere Pro, I create a project with the same name as the category and I create a bin like a folder in Premiere with the name of the video. I also create a sequence in Premiere with the same name as the video. Everything has the same name. In Envato Element, I create a project with the same name of the video. They don't have folder there, so I can only create the name of the video. Every time I download something from Envato Element, I use this project and then after I download it to my computer, I immediately put that asset in the right folder based on its content. If it's music, it's go into the music folder and so on. And then when I import that into Premiere, I also place that asset in a bin for it. If it's music, it goes into Envato Music bin. If I use different websites for the same assets like Pixabay for music, then I create two folders on my computer and two bins in Premiere Pro to keep things organized by website. It might sound like a lot of work, but it becomes very fast once you get used to it. You can even create a folder with all the folders name already set up. So all you need to do is copy everything to a new project folder you open. This way it's effortless to find everything and you don't get overwhelmed with ton of assets that you're not sure if you use it or where they come from. For most assets, I don't bother downloading the certificate license because for videos, it's rare that someone will claim it as a copyrighted material. But if it ever happened, I can always go back to my video check the specific clip they claim, look in the folder where I got it, and then go back to Envato Elements to the project and retrieve the certificate license. Now for music, it's a bit different because of how Content ID works on YouTube. It often quick 
quickly recognize where the music is royalty free or not. When you use royalty free music, you avoid copyright strikes, which can harm your channel reputation. But whether it's free licensed music, like you find on Pixabay or a subscription based paid website like Envato Elements, you still need to get the license. So for music, I always download it and then go back to my downloads on Envato Elements to download the music license. Once I have both, I end up with one file in text form and another zip file with the music inside. I unzip the folder and add the certificate to it. If I receive a claim immediately after uploading, I dispute it right then. It's quite rare to get claim months later, but if it does happen, I can find the file name in the video on YouTube and quickly locate the folder on my computer. From there, it's easy to find the music and the license because they're right there. This approach works for any website that provides the certificate with the asset. I actually prefer it over a website connected to my channel like Epidemic Sound where I need to pay more for multiple channels. By the way, if you create videos for clients, it's best practice to provide them with all the licenses when you hand over the final video. This way, they have everything they need and they won't need to come back to you if they encounter any issues with the video you created for them. I really appreciate Envato Elements. It saved me a lot of time with searching and get the assets. And if you've seen the video about Canva Pro Music, you probably understand why having license for each piece of content forever is better. Few more tips. If you want to use the same assets in different projects, you can simply create a new certificate. Find the project you created and download only the certificate without having to download the asset again and clutter your computer with extra files. This way you can save space on your computer. If you need the same music, for example, you can download only the certificate and save it in and the new project folder on your computer. Now, if you come across things you like but don't need for your current project, instead of downloading them and never using them, you can save them as a collection. Here's how. Go to your avatar and find the collection feature. There you can create as many collections as you need and you can name them based on the theme or the type of content you might want to download in the future. Instead of downloading it, click on the collection option and choose the collection you want to add it to. Click on add. This way, in the future, instead of searching for the video or music again, you can find it right away in your collection. If you have asset that you use for every video, you need to create the license each time, except if you use it for intros or outros. It's a good idea to create one project with all of your basic downloads. When you need to add license, you can go to the project and download all the certificates you need from one place. You can also do something similar on your computer. Create one folder with all the regular items you use that require certificates. If you do this while you're creating the video, it's much easier than trying to organize it all in the future. Each website has its own rules and requirements. Some websites require you to credit each item with the creator name and website. This can be a bit more of a hassle because you need to remember to copy all the information and then add it to your post or YouTube video. If you want to use more unique assets than not everyone is using, make sure to follow the terms of each website and if you stay organized with your file it's easy to find all the certificate you need now you can watch more videos about Envato Elements right here and if you like Envato Elements you can support this channel by clicking on the link in the description and buy through my affiliate link thank you